Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie. I have developed a complete video course that I have titled Microeconomics for Managers, the Economic Way of Thinking for Students of Business. The course covers 58 lectures, most of which range in length from 20 to 35 minutes and contain as much content as any college length course in microeconomics. My overarching goal in developing these lectures has been to show you how microeconomics can be used to think creatively about real world management and business problems. Make no mistake about it, when you complete the lectures and accompany reading assignments, you will think differently about the world of business. I have spent decades teaching microeconomics at all undergraduate and graduate levels in business schools. You can be assured that I know my audience. You may also be interested in knowing that I have written over 30 books and any number of journal articles and many commentaries for national newspapers and magazines, with the vast majority of my writings devoted to the application of microeconomic theory to policy and management issues. This is to say I also know my subject. I have been encouraged to do this complete video course by the hundreds of thousands of students from around the world who have used my video modules on YouTube. The modules are very short components of my actual course. Many students have written to comment on their clarity and usefulness as well as to add in so many different ways you save my butt in my econ class. Many students will be able to use my video course as a substitute for their required in-class econ course uh, requirement. I expect other students to use the video lectures as supplements to their in-class lectures that do not always clarify microeconomic theory. How does my video course differ from other courses? Well, for starters, you can always pause my lectures to catch up on note taking and then repeat the lectures time and again. Moreover, the focus of this course is on management decision making, not just micro theory for theory's sake. Most microeconomics courses take up such issues as rent controls and minimum wage laws, highlighting their social and welfare effects. I will cover those conventional lines of analysis, but I will go further, explaining how landlords can be expected to respond and must respond to government-imposed rent controls. I will also explain how employers can be expected to respond and must respond, given competitive market conditions, to hikes in the federal or state minimum wage. Everyone seems to understand that a firm's profitability is critically dependent on producing a better mousetrap, that is, an innovative product or service. I can only endorse such a position. However, in these lectures, I will also be concerned with why and how incentives, deceptively simple business issues, matter a great deal to firms as they seek to make profits. Indeed, getting incentives right is crucial to firms' prosperity not to mention their survival. In addition, firms' organizational and financial structures can be equally crucial to firms' profitability. We will see why and how firms divide themselves into divisions and departments and how their organizational structures affect workers' and managers' incentives and thereby firms' profitability. We will also see how the varying degrees to which firms use debt and equity financing can and will affect executive risk taking, which in turn can affect firms' long-term profitability and survival. Need I remind you that excessive leverage, that is use of debt, was at the heart of the reckless risk taking among financial and other firms in the 1990s and early 2000s that led to the downfall of the housing and mortgage markets beginning in 2006, which beget the Great Recession that began officially in late 2007. Of course, I will discuss conventional microeconomic theory, supply and demand for products and labor, for example. But I will give substantial attention to such concepts as adverse selection, moral hazard, free riding, prisoner's dilemma, principal agent problems, and external and internal coordinating costs. In addition to an analysis of the demand for conventional normal goods, bicycles and candy bars, for example, 
I will also cover other categories of goods such as experience goods, addictive goods, and network goods, the nature of which have important implications for a firm's pricing strategy. And pricing strategies will be a core concern of this course, mainly because pricing strategies can be sources of firm's profitability and survival. Everyone starting an economics course understands that competition in markets for products and labor constrain executive and managers decisions and determine how cost-effective and profitable firms will operate. I will cover those forms of competition but I will emphasize how competition for control of firms from savvy investors, takeover entrepreneurs, also constrain and discipline managers and executives. Woe to the managers and executives who do not heed the interests of owners and would-be owners. Make no mistake about it, this micro course will be like no other in terms of goals and content. This course follows in a loose way the topics covered in my own textbook from Cambridge University Press, Microeconomics for MBAs, The Economic Way of Thinking for Managers. But the lectures will work with any number of other textbooks and in courses designed for business majors, as well as MBA students. If you are interested in getting more information on th this video course, either for individual use or class adoption, you can obtain information on the course and sample lectures uh, by going to the website that is now on your screen. You can also email me directly with my email address now on the screen. For a limited time you will be able to buy the entire set of 58 lectures for half price, $75 on a DVD and $87 on a thumb drive, plus shipping and handling. You can seek a full refund for 30 days after purchase. I look forward to talking with professors about quantity discounts for adoptions for classes. I look forward also to hearing from you and having you as a student at a distance. Thank you very much.